All right, so let's start with the second video, second collection of views. So if you go back to the main storyboard, now you can do this, you can do command copy, and then command V, and then paste the stuff, I'm sorry, and then make it, configure it differently, a little bit differently, all right? And the reason I've done that, so I don't have to worry about the custom cell right now, this one already have, if you look at it, it already have the cell identifier, the class is my cell, and this one is actually have already that connection. If you don't do this, then you'll have, if you didn't copy it, basically you will have to do the same thing over again. You, you establish the connections and so forth. And I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger. And then the label is a little bit bigger. And I'm going to change the property of this, make it at the center. All right. And just move it somewhere in here. All right. You can change the background of this if you want. So it's different than the other one. Okay. Now, the problem that we have is this connected? It's not connected. There's no outlet. Okay, the problem is that we have the same view controller, the same view controller, it implements UI delegate, uh, UI, uh, uh, I'm sorry, view collection view delegate and the data source. But how, do, when do we know to populate this or to populate this one? So what we need to do, we need to create another, um, we do that automatic here. We need to create another outlet to this collection of view, and I'm going to call that collection of view, collection of view two. All right. So we have two outlets. If we go back to the main view controller, in here now I have two references: collection of view one and collection of view two. I'll just put it up there so they're close to each other. All right. All right, okay, and here's my data. If it's collection of view one, I'm gonna populate this data. If it's collection of view two, I'm gonna populate this data, all right? Now, how do we recognize them? Well, in these controllers, in these functions, you are sent a collection of view, which says collection of view, right? So what you need to do, you need to check if, the collection of view that I being sent equal to equal to collection of view one. That means I am dealing with collection of view one, and I will return what the counts in days. If else, if it is not collection of view one, that must be collection of view two. I'm going to return what I'm going to return the count in days task day task that count okay well right now it's empty and i'll show you what to do in a minute okay so this will return at the beginning zero all right then we do the same thing in here we want to do the same idea we need to check if the, we also get the collection of view if we say if collection of view equal to collection of view one then I update what? I update the label in connection, collection of view one from days task. Else, and so from days. Else, what do, I, what do I populate the data? I populate it from the day task. Okay. All right. So that is it. Okay, we'll do one more thing here in a minute, but let's test it at least to see if this works. At least the first part that we had works. Okay, so the first part should be the same. The second part will have nothing in it. So my next step is to do what? When I click on this, I wanna populate this collection of view with the content from this array, the task for day one. 
And the way we're going to do it, I'll, this is array inside an array. So I'm going to take this array, assign it to day task one or day task, and then reload the second view collection of view. And to do this, we need to implement a function which is called uh, collection of view did select, where is did select? We should have selected select, select item. Uh, did display. All right. Uh, trying to find. Did this DC like there should be one here? <laughs> First one, sorry. <laughs> okay, so did select item. All right. So what does that do? This give you what the index of the item that you selected. Okay. Again, what I'm going to do, I need to check what collection of you I'm clicking on. So if I say collection of you, I'm gonna paste this and then remove this returns. And it says, okay, if collection of you one, if you press on collection of you one, what do you wanna do? All right? Well, if I press on collection of you one, I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say day task equal to what? Equal, remember this, tasks, I have tasks. And then I'm gonna get the elements. So because they are indexed, like zero is the first is Sunday, one is Monday and so forth. I'm gonna use the index path that I select as my key to that array. So if I say index path, that row or that item, same. And that will give me that array. Now the day task is populated. So what do I do? I say collection of view to reload the data. When I say reload the data, it reloads everything and it uh, get that count, the count correct and so forth. So now if I run it, watch what happens. When I click on this, I got that, and this scrolls, okay. Okay, you see that? Uh, but there is a problem here, Sunday, Tuesday. That should not display that. What should it display? There's a problem, right? Instead of days, what this should, this should display what? Day task. Okay, then we click on that. Let's see, all right. Okay, and this is, should scroll vertically in that one. Let me make sure that it's correct. Did we change that to vertical scroll or horizontal? We wanna make that vertical scroll, okay. And then now you'll see that when you run it, one way scroll horizontally, this one goes like that, and then this, if we have more elements, it would scroll vertically, all right? Okay, so what else we need to do? What else, if we go back, if we run it right now, the first time it happens, you notice that in the first, uh, I have to click on Sunday to show Sunday. Well, maybe you want it to actually start with Sunday. So how do you do that? If you go back to the view controller, if you go to the view did load method, here's your view did load method. What you do is that you say, you first assign, you say, um, day task equal to what? Equal to tasks. And then you put zero, so that'll give you the first element, so it'll be Sunday, all right? Forgot the equal, all right? And 
the last thing I want to show you is that when we select it, we want to highlight the border on that cell to know which were, what they were looking at. So what I'm going to do is that I already done the code somewhere else. I'll just copy it. <coughs> In the selection, when we select it, what I'm going, what you do is that you basically get the cell first of what you get the cell that you selected by executing collection view cell for the index path that is being sent to me. What I select, you change the border to two point the border of that cell, and then you give it a different color. I use a yellow color. So when you run it now, watch watch what happens. You say now. Sunday, you click on it, Monday, Tuesday, and so forth. But there's a problem. The problem is that what about these? If they're selected, if it depends on what you're doing, this shows you which one you select. But if you want to only have one selected, what you do is that we define a variable on top here, say previous cell equal to previous cell. equal to UI collection of view of var previous cell equal UI collection of view cell, right? And in here, you say in the collection of view cell, when you select, a, when you select a view, when you click on a view, you say previous cell, you say previous cell equal, equal the cell that you selected, all right? And, oh, you need that explanation mark. And you say previous cell, you set the border though to the previous cell to what? To previous cell, you set it to uh, border, or layer that border width equal to zero. All right. So now watch what happens when you click on this. Click on that, click on that, changes, 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 changes. There was little, there is one more problem we have to do, which is when you first start your application, you'll notice that the first cell is not highlighted. Sunday is not highlighted. So how do I do this? You can take the same copy, same code, these two lines, and then you check in the, uh, when you start loading your table, if it is your first cell, you say, for example, if index path, dot um, row equals zero, what do we do? We say, we paste these, and then remove the explanation marks, and then we say previous cell equal the cell, the first cell. So you say previous cell equal the cell. It's like as if I selected that first cell. So now you run it and watch how it's going to work. So Sunday is highlighted and so forth. Again, the focus was on the UI collection of view, on the collection of view, and not where to get the data. I mean, I used array because it's easier to display it in, in this short period of time. Uh, I've done examples where these are coming from a uh, server. And when you click on this, it will download the data related to that index from a server too. So you can do stuff like this, but you have to include the JSON. And, and uh, we've done examples on parsing and downloading JSON previously. I hope you find these useful, and I'll see you in the next videos.